Hello guys, this is a quick introduction to how to install Jenkins on your Ubuntu machine. I'm assuming that you are using Ubuntu 18.04 and I'm already connected to that machine. You can see that screen here. The very first task is to update your app cache, which you can do it easily by saying sudo appgate update. Will take a couple of minutes, be patient. Now Jenkins requires you to install Java on your machine. Now either you can go for JRE or JDK, it's up to you. I'm going to install JDK. So sudo appgate install default JDK. This will make sure that you are getting the latest JDK on your machine. So this is the prerequisite. Unless you install JDK or JRE, Jenkins will not be able to install. So just wait for a couple of minutes, it will be done. And once it is done, I already have opened a link where you can find the instructions to install Jenkins. It's a very simple process. <clears throat> Getting updated, Just be patient. Okay, it seems like it is installed. Now, next step is very simple. I already have opened the page here. You can directly see the commands. The very first command will add the app key in your repository. The second command is going to add the sources for Jenkins from where the Jenkins will get downloaded. The third command is going to update your cache again, the apt cache precisely. And the last command is going to install Jenkins on your machine. Sudo update install Jenkins. In my case, it's already installed, so it must have taken hardly a few seconds to do it. Now it's already installed. Now Jenkins is installed, but that does not mean it started automatically. So how do I check it? Now to check that, you're going to say sudo systemctl status and make sure that you are checking the Jenkins service. Now it seems like uh, it by default started here. If it is not already started, you can use the same command and instead of saying start uh, status, you can say start. Sudo Jenkins, uh, sorry, sudo systemctl start Jenkins will make sure the Jenkins started automatically in the background. And if you want to restart the machine and want to start Jenkins every single time, use another command, say systemctl enable Jenkins. This will make sure even if you restart your machine, next time onwards, the Jenkins will automatically start. Now Jenkins is started. Now the next step is you want to check whether we can access it or whether we can see the dashboard of Jenkins. Now to do this, use your IP address. My machine's IP address is 192.168.2.201 and go to your port 8080. Jenkins by default uses port number 8080. Now this is a Jenkins install uh, install wizard where you are going to down you are going to copy the password which is there in in this file. So use this file address, go back here, say cat, get the file. Oh sorry, it says permission denied. No big deal, we are gonna say sudo. And just copy this. Once you copy, paste it here. And probably, it is asking me to install or customize the Jenkins plugins. So maybe you can go for one of the options. Right now, I'm going to use the default or suggested plugins. Now this will take some time. Just be patient. It takes real time to install it. Okay, it is done. Now here you are going to create your first admin user. Now you can use your username. I'm going to use as an admin. Password, you choose your password. Confirm the password. Use your full name. This name will be displayed later in the uh, Jenkins dashboard. And then you can put your email address. So mine, I'll put it here as uh, pythoncvp.gmail.com. So once you save continue, this is the first time you're gonna look at it. So it is asking you which URL you want to prefer here. Right now, don't change it. If required, we can change that from the configuration. Let's say save and finish. And yes, the Jenkins is ready. Start using Jenkins. What do you see here is generally called as the Jenkins dashboard. And this is what we are going to see later in the course. Thank you for watching this video. So please get it installed before you start the workshop.